Hi guys, this is Sadeh from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you two methods through which you could restart the setup wizard on your Android phone without doing a factory reset. So this is the most important point. I will not use a factory reset or a format data and still I'll show you how to invoke and bring back the setup wizard on your Android phone. The two methods are using root and without root. So first off, let me show you how to get this job done without root. So for that, the requirements are first and foremost, you will have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So let's get the job done. For that, go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, go to system and enable the toggle next to developer option. Enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on OK. And with this debugging is enabled. Now get hold of Android SDK platform tools from here. Once you've got to extract them onto your PC, you could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, let's verify the debugging connection. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that we're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that we're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move ahead and get started with the guide. So first off, you have to type in ADB shell and make sure that your phone serial num serial code name or your phone name is being shown here. So either your phone name will be shown here or the code name will be shown here. As of now, you could see it's the OnePlus 9 Pro. The phone name is shown here and you should also see a dollar sign. Once that is done, we are done with the requirements and now let's get started. So the first one is without root. In this case, you just have to copy paste this entire command and your task stands complete. So let me show you currently my phone is on the home screen. So copy this command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And as you could see, I am now in the st st startup screen. So I will just tap on start and carry out the rest of the setup process and get the job done. It is exactly as similar to how you do after doing a format data. It's the same screen and as you could see, it's done and dusted. So this was on an Android 11 phone, the OnePlus 9 Pro. Let me now show you the same using a root method. And for the root, I will be using a Pixel 6a, which is running the latest Android 15. So the method wor works across all the Android version. This is the Pixel 6a on Android 15, upside down cake, upside down vanilla ice cream. So in this, I will show you. So first and foremost, you will have to root your phone via magisk. So as you could see, my phone has obtained root via magisk. If you haven't done so yet, then root your device using the guide I, I've given here. After that, open a CMD window. Make sure you have check marked the initial requirement of enabling USB debugging and then ADB shell as well. If you haven't done so, then let's get that job done as well. So go to settings menu about phone and tap on build number seven times. Then go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Now tap on OK in the prompt that appears and let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter so that you are getting a serial ID. Once that is done, you will now have to open a shell environment. So type in ADB shell and hit enter. And as you could see, my phone code name is shown here. In some cases, your phone name will be shown here. In some cases, it will be the code name. That does not matter. Once that is done, once you have obtained that, now you will have to type in SU. This will enable the super user. So type in SU and now you will get a prompt on your phone. If this is the first time you are carrying out this task. So let me show you. I already enabled it beforehand as you could see over here. But if it's the first time, then you will get a prompt on your phone. So make sure to enable the toggle next to shell or just tap on grant. So type in this and you will get a super user request as seen in the screenshot. Tap on grant and with this we have given the super user request the dollar sign should now change to a hash which signifies that the root has been obtained so let's now proceed ahead and now you will have to type in this command we haven't used the adb shell in the beginning of this command because we have already used adb shell in the initial process as you could see the adb shell has already been used so please don't use adb shell once again now just simply copy this command and paste in the cmd window and hit enter Likewise, as you can see, the new state has been enabled and now we will have to change the state of the setup wizard to false. So by false, we mean zero in the Boolean value. So now copy this entire command 
again we are not using the adb shell at the starting because we have already used that initially simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter and with this our task stands complete once that is done you will not have to do a restart the restart is compulsory in case of the root method so in case of root you will al always have to do a restart after typing in both these commands so let's just wait for a phone to reboot and then i'll show you that as well so it will take only a few seconds the restart is for the routing method in case of non root you, you usually don't have to do a restart but in case of non root if the task did not work then you may do a restart and then check out the result as well so let's now see our phone has undergone a restart and upon a restart you will just have to unlock your phone so let me unlock it and as you could see we are now inside the setup screen and we can now get started with the setup process and skip the initial setup process if you want you may restore the data right now or skip it this is the exact similar as you get after doing a reset so let me skip this as of now as well because i have already done the process let me skip this as well and as you could see we are now inside the home screen so guys it's quite easy to get this job done in case of root and non root both the method first of all you will have to enable adb shell and once that is done in case of non root simply use this command whereas in case of root you will also have to use the su command and after using the su command simply use both this command just make sure not to use the adb shell over and over again you only have to use the adb shell once in the beginning and after that you don't have to use the adb shell command simply the non root command starts with am and the root commands after the su will start with the pm enable and the settings put and after you have done this task in the root method you will have to do a restart this is compulsory and upon a restart you will get the setup wizard on your phone so guys these were the two methods through which you could get this job done without doing a format data if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching